Yo, what's up guys? It's Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about how to set up your Shopify drop shipping, uh, you know, free plus shipping rates. But not only how to set it up, um, but also how to be profitable or at least break even and also how to set it up so you're not going to get scammed by people that might, you know, try to order 15 things from you that are, you know, free plus shipping or whatever. Let's go ahead and dive into the computer and uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so here we are on my computer. This is just a test website. This is one of the uh, the sites that I was you know doing when I was first learning it. The first thing that you need to know when you're using a free plus shipping item is that you need to obviously have that product that you're gonna sell. Now, in my opinion, the best product to sell is something that's ideally less than $3, okay? Why is that? That's because you, I mean, $3 is even a bit expensive. Ideally, I'd like to have it under two, but $3 is okay because if you have an $8 shipping or you know maybe a $10 shipping, then for every you know every product that you sell, they're gonna spend $8 in shipping. That means you're gonna make five. Or if it's 10, you're gonna make $7, right? Um, you know, ideally, the less expensive the product, the better, so your margins are more and you're making more money, but essentially $3 is kind of that sweet spot that we're heading for. So on this store, I already have some things you know set up. So I'm gonna to go to the products here. And uh, this is one that is gonna be like my free plus shipping offer, right? It's a, uh, a, paw, print pen, a paw print pendant. It's kind of a tongue twister. Um, so I'll open it up here on AliExpress. I just typed in you know the paw print pendant. And the one I'm using is actually this one, which as you can see is about $4. So it's a little bit on the expensive side. Um, if you want, you probably could use this, but as you can see, when you're looking at the orders, you know, 2,352, 700, both have a lot of orders, both are popular products like we talked about in the product video. So both would probably be, you know, pretty decent, provided that you actually did the research to, you know, find out if they're decent. So anyways, imported this, um, and here we are on our product page. So when we go to it, there's a few things that we want to edit. The main thing that we want to edit is the price, okay? And this one's already set up because I had it set up before, but if it's not set up, what you're gonna wanna do is hit this button. This is gonna select all of the, uh, you know, all the things, and you're gonna hit edit variance, okay? So price is zero because obviously free plus shipping. I usually do my compare price at anywhere from like 1995 to like 2495, just depending on the product. Obviously you, you wanna like price it at something that would be reasonable. I think I could see this paw print pendant at a store for, you know, 20 bucks. So that's, that's why I put it. Um, basically what you're trying to do is create a value gap here. So if somebody believes it's 20, but they're paying zero, they'd be more willing to pay like $8 shipping because that's less than half the price of what it would actually go for. Whereas if you were saying like, you know, it's only $10, then if they pay $8 shipping, then they're like, ah, you know, I don't know, right? The value gap's not there. So that's, that's just part of the, the psychology behind it. So the most important thing that we have to do here besides this is we actually have to go in and add a field. So I'm gonna add the weight field just go up here, click add weight, and uh, it's gonna add a weight field. Now what you're gonna wanna do here, this is super important, and this will go into how we actually price our shipping, um, <clears throat> is you wanna change all these to 0.1. Uh, the reason being is because we're gonna have all our products that aren't free plus shipping be zero, zero pounds, okay? And every one that is free plus shipping is gonna be 0.1 pounds. And you'll see why in a minute, but uh, just make sure all the ones that are free plus shipping, 0.1 pounds. All right, now it's time to actually set up our, you know, actual shipping settings. So let's go into the settings here. Uh, shipping, you got domestic and international shipping. And uh, the first thing that I want to do, because this screws up so many people all the time, is down here in the packages, it automatically adds like, you know, a certain amount of weight, whatever that is. What you're going to want to do is just hit edit and uh, delete that and make it zero. And the reason is because it's gonna add that 0.5 pounds to your already you know, 0.1 pound product. And it's just gonna screw the whole thing up and you know, kind of whack it out. So definitely do that. Uh, the next thing that we wanna do is I usually, I, I like to ship internationally for the most part because um, it's drop shipping. And I suggest that you do, I mean, just depending on the niche. But um, usually what I do is I actually end up going over here and I click edit on this and then I just delete the, uh, delete the zone. And I use the international one as like, you know, everything, including the United States. So, but if you want to, you could also, you know, do it different ways. I just like doing it this way. Um, just makes it easier, a little bit simpler. So we'll make this, um, so usually this is the rest of the world. So like everything except the United States. So what we'll do is we'll just add countries. Um, and then 
we'll make sure that it includes the US and it should now because we deleted that one so it should include it. So we'll add that. All right, <clears throat> now this is the most important part. This is where we're actually going to price our shipping and make sure that everything is, is set up the right way. So uh, if you have anything here, calculated rates, delete that. If you have anything on price weight or price base, delete that. All we're worrying about is the weight based right. So we're gonna hit add rate. And basically what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to um, create a system where a certain amount of weight equals a certain amount of uh, you know, shipping. So if you wanna charge $10 shipping, then you know, 0.1 pound is gonna equal 10 pounds and then so on and so forth. And I'll show you how to set that up. But how do you choose the, the amount that you wanna charge shipping? Well, what I do, I usually research other competitors in the market and just kinda of do like a test order just to see uh, how much they're charging. I usually do that with like five to 10 different um, you know, retailers in the market that I'm in. And if I see a lot of people are charging like you know, 10 bucks, then I'll probably end up charging nine to 10 bucks as well. Um, just as a starting point and then you can kinda of test from there. Um, but let's just say for you know beginners, let's just say that we want to make it uh, you know 9.95 shipping. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to standard shipping. We're just going to call this you know standard shipping, and we're going to copy and paste this. And for minimum order weight, we're going to make it 0.1, right? Because that was what our uh, free plus shipping offer was. For maximum, we're also going to make it 0.1. Okay, so if the product weight is equal to 0.1, then the amount that we're gonna charge is 9.95, okay? We're gonna hit done. Then we're gonna go in and hit another rate, so we're gonna add a rate, and same thing, standard shipping. Now we're gonna make it for 0.2, so if the product is 0.2 pounds, which, how do you get 0.2 pounds? It's basically if you have two free plus shipping offers, right? Because 0.1 plus 0.1 equals 0.2. Um, so if we have 0.2, then I usually just double it. So we'll say like 18.95, right? And then so on and so forth. And you do that all the way up until point, uh, you know, point 0.9. Once you get to one pound, usually what that, what that means is somebody's ordering 10 free plus shipping offers, right? And if they're ordering 10, at that point, I like to just make it kind of ridiculous. So I'll just make it like, you know, $200 shipping or something. Um, if it's, uh, one pound to like 25 pounds because if it's 25 pounds that means they're ordering like 250 and you know chances are no one's ordering 250 so you'll be you'll be good now I've done it some other ways I've tried to like three different ways of doing it and I actually been screwed over uh, one time by somebody ordering like 15 and I wasn't prepared he basically got 15 products for free um, and didn't even have to pay shipping because I had it the wrong way um, so make sure you do it this way um, we'll just cancel that now, if you wanna do um, like a free shipping offer, basically what you're gonna do is make it zero, okay? So any product that's weighted zero, now you gotta make sure on the product page, like um, over here on this product page, you gotta make sure that this weight is zero, okay? Um, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is just do from zero pounds to zero pounds, so anything that's retail rate, uh, it's gonna be free shipping, okay? and the rate is zero, and you know, we'll just name this free shipping. Cool. And basically just set it up all the way up to 0.9, and then at one pound, just make it you know, uh, one to 25 equals like 200 bucks, or whatever you want to make it. Hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully it's easy for you guys. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna provide a screenshot of kind of the rates that I do and how I set it up. Um, you can feel free to use that as a model, but I'd recommend you know testing, obviously. Maybe try $10 shipping, maybe try uh, you know, seven dollar shipping. Maybe try twelve dollar shipping. You know, and you never know. I've charged as much as twelve ninety five, and it still works. Right now, what I'm finding is that when you do random shipping rates, like you know, something like ten seventy one, or you know, something like that, just a random number, a lot of times it seems more realistic that it would actually cost that much to ship the item. So people are more likely to purchase, at least from what I've seen, than if you were to use a retail rate like nine ninety five or something. Just because I don't know, it seems more realistic, I guess, for them. I don't know. Um, but yeah, feel free to test around with that. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well because I'm going to be dropping free content for you guys every single day. It's going to be hot and you're going to want to see it. So hit the notification bell if you liked it. Leave me a like. Also leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to see in the future and what you like from this video. And I will see you guys tomorrow.